Okay. That today, well, all week was so hairy out, you know, hairy, you know, but the stress is, is, is gone, gone down. They're, they're not so leaning on me. They're realizing, hey, I'm 54 years old, okay? I already did my 20 years here. You know, I know some young punk ass kid that's gonna push out fucking 70, 80 uh, tubes a day, you know? But, uh, you know, let me learn. I'm getting better. I didn't fuck up none today again. I didn't fuck up none. But I did fix all the bad ones I had. Well, I had maybe five or six, maybe, I don't know, but, but I had to fix the other guys, and I don't think that's fair that I'm fixing somebody else's junk, you know, I, you know but a job is a job. It don't matter to me, but, you know, but I, I'm kind of upset, though, that, uh, see, every time I get, get all the parts I need to, to keep running the next job, whatever, you know, it's all there. Everything's ready to go, you know. And now they're going to have this other guy take over, burn up all my parts, you know. And, and uh, I come to work Monday, and I'm going to be screwed again. Because I don't have no parts. Big issue here. They should, you know, if, if they're going to burn this stuff up, you know, they always tell me, you know, before I leave, stop working and get more parts, you know, for the next guy. Why Why do I got to make sure there's parts for the other guy so he can look good, you know? But me, he don't have to worry about, you know, just get out of him as much as possible, burn up the equipment and go leave. And we don't, you know, not have no responsibility in making sure that I have enough parts to run the job. You know, that's not fair. You know, it, you know, I already talked to Troy about it, and I'm like, hey, that's bullshit. I'm sorry for swearing, but, you know, that's bullshit. You know, that, you know, if they want me to pull out production, you know, have the shit there. Common sense. Have the shit there. How you gonna want me to make trailers if they ain't got nothing there? Hurry up and wait. <laughs> yeah. That's what one guy said. I, you, you, I, I said, welcome to hell. He got it right. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. You ain't getting nothing done. Common sense. That's all it is. Common sense. Don't be ignorant about this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, if, if I got it all set up, ready to go, don't mean to send somebody else over here like, hey, it's already a guy, and I just burn it up and then leave. You know, don't clean or nothing. Just make as big as best as possible, you know, mess everything all up, you know, and I get everything neat and organized, you know, like, you know, clean. You know, make it look like home. You know, that's the way I am. I like want my stuff neat and organized and you know, I just found somebody's old hammer that's been dragging around on the ground. You know, I first started, the place was just a mess. It was like no one's cleaned or nothing. You know, just trashed out and, you know, hardly no parts or nothing. You know, like, you know everything's disorganized. You, know, you gotta organize your, your equipment and your parts and Make sure you, know, you got room to walk, you know, don't clutter everything all together, you know, like, here, get this job done. All it takes is one slip, one fall, one wrong turn, and pow, I already did. Yeah, pow. Got these boards sticking out, they got, got this, these side rails or whatever, you know, side tubes or whatever, all piled way up high. Nothing should be above your head. Nothing. That's how people get killed. Someone loses control of a board truck and hits that, and the other guy on the other side, like me, they should be giving me free life insurance. 
something out. Well, they're going to be responsible for me anyways. Because if I get killed here, they're going to be responsible for my feeling you and everything. That's going to be for damn sure. Yeah. Anyway, you know, throw me in the dumpster and say, oh, another one gone. No. No. I ain't no fool. I ain't no stupid person. You get killed at a job, you better be covered by them. Well, it's called workman's comp and everything else, yeah, so yeah. I'm pretty sure if you get killed at a job that they have to cover your funeral expenses and all that stuff, yeah. Don't say, hey, the guy didn't have health insurance, he shouldn't have been here. I don't have health insurance because I can't afford it. Not with the money I'm making, no. $165 a month. $170. $170 a month. God, I just got out of that situation with the landlord, the ex-landlord. She was getting, well, she was getting more than that. She was getting like $235 every two weeks. I'm like, shouldn't that be like a month? $235 a month? No. She's getting 20% of each check. Each check, 20%. I get two checks a month. Well, she probably loved him when I worked overtime. She got more money. But it hurt her in the long run because she got paid off quicker. You know, well, me and her are done. Yeah, me and the ex landlord are done because. Uh, she got her two thousand dollars. That's it. We're done. Hope she gets a job and gets a life because uh, we done. The only thing I, I'm upset about that is that all the stuff I lost. You know, there's a difference between getting evicted and moving out. Now, if I would have moved out as I planned, I was building that trailer for a reason. U-Haul trailer. I was building a U-Haul trailer. For a reason, I figured I would have had it done. I would have probably had it done this this last summer. I would have had it done. Yeah, I would have had it done this last summer. I would have had it done as planned. You know, couldn't really work on it last summer before because how do you try to do it? And you, I couldn't have no cook coach or nothing because they were constantly arguing, fighting downstairs. I did not go outside. I felt, I told the ex-landlord, I'm a prisoner in my own home. I couldn't even go down in the basement to do my laundry because they would come down there and start arguing and fight right in front of me. I don't care, Carl. See, what, you think Carl going to protect you? That's what she said. I seen her throw a brick at him. A lot of people think she's innocent. Uh -huh. I seen the true story. I saw the, the true you know, I see the true person that she is. She threatened my life. She told me I'd be dealt with if I don't stay out of her business. So I did. I stayed out of her business. I stayed in my house doing my YouTube and that was it. I didn't go outside. I didn't have no cookouts. I had no, none of my friends would come over. No. And the landlord did nothing. Cops were in there seven times for them arguing, fighting, smashing stuff, showing her asses outside. She did nothing. You know why? She needed to rent money. She needed to rent money. Okay, well, now our holes, or our walls got holes in the walls and smashed up all their shit. Yeah. That's what she gets. That's what she gets because. She didn't take care of the situation. She controlled me, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was the dumbass. Uh, Carl, you need to... Carl, you need to... Carl, you need to... She didn't worry about me sweeping and cleaning her stairway in the hallway. Well, she didn't have them clean up the blood that's on the wall. Probably still right now. Maybe I should do a DNA test on that blood on the wall. Or the hole in the wall when she was holding the butcher knife 
and, and, and uh, he flung her arm back and, and uh, made her drop the knife blade, smashing her hand into the wall, holding that knife, that big butcher knife. Oh, yeah. I heard it all and I seen it all. I told the landlord about it and she didn't care. She didn't want to hear it. But she did say, I said, I can hear them down there arguing, playing. And, she, and the landlord says to me, what were they saying? I'll tell you what they were saying. They're pissed off that she wouldn't fix nothing. That's what they argued and fought about all the time. Landlord was a slumlord. She didn't fix nothing. She didn't do nothing. She didn't repair nothing. You know, that's what they were fighting about the whole time. So, Soleil's dead because of the landlord. Yeah. Because of the landlord. Yeah. Because it, 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 it just built up and built up and built up. You know, she, she called Vern a punk ass bitch because he wouldn't stand up to the landlord, tell her how he feel about not fixing nothing. They, they, every time I went outside, they brought me a car. Come here, look at this car. You need to see this, man. Check this out, man. Look at this. We can't, we can't plug nothing in. We can't use the electric. Is she doing her hair? And I pull in some toes. All the lights go out. All the lights out. Look at this car. car. Look at this. Look at this sink. Look at this sink. Look. Look. It's been plugged up for three weeks, Carl. We can't do our dishes. We throw our dishes away because, you know, we can't wash them. Look at the toilet, Carl. The toilet plugged up too. She don't come and fix shit. God, it makes me want to smash up everything. That's what it was all about, the true story. That's why she don't want me there. That's why she didn't want me there. That's why she kicked me out. That's why she picked me out. So, like, the next person that buys it, whatever, I got stories to tell. Look, I got stories to tell. I'm sorry to bring this all on you guys, but, you know, just, you know, I'm wondering why I can't sleep, I can't eat, I'm, I'm, I'm getting no beast. I did lose a little pounds right here. Look at this. Oh, if you would look, here it is. Is that a bullet hole? See that? You can see my trees, my plants in that window. See that? You can see my plants in the window. Yeah, look at that. Now there's a note on the window, note on the door. We got an air conditioner still in there. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. She ain't fixing nothing, she ain't doing nothing. She tell me to do measurements of the doors. So she can replace the doors. See, my air conditioner is still in there. See that? My air conditioner is still in there. Still got my record albums in the window. See that? Everything's still the same. She hasn't done nothing. Still got crap on the porch. She hasn't done nothing. She hasn't done nothing. Yeah. I got, she had to, look at my wood. All my wood, they're stealing all my wood. Still got my picture in the window in the garage even. Yeah. Still the same. She didn't do nothing. She sued me for two thousand dollars, saying that I did not remove my stuff and I did not clean the apartment. She got away with it. And people are like, how did she get away with that? How can she sue you for something like that? She evicted you. Even the judge, the judge said, what is the issue here? What is the problem here? You wanted him out, he's out. And you still got an issue with him? She says, well, I want him to pay for the damages. What damages? What damages has he had done? Well, then she still tried to sue me, you know, saying that uh, I made her toilet leak. <laughs> I made her toilet leak. Uh, 
And then uh, I told Your Honor, that toilet leaked for six years and I had the gasket. That her husband put in the wrong gasket. I still have it right now. I still have the gasket. Her husband put the wrong gasket seal in the toilet that made it leak. Her husband made it leak for six years. And I told her that the floor was so rotten that I was afraid to even lean on it or sit on it because it's going to fall through the floor. And she says, Carl, just try not to lean on it. I said, Your Honor, I'm a 250-pound man. How can I use the toilet and not lean on it? I told her, the roof leaks, you know, the roof leaks. And she told me that if I don't go up upstairs and put buckets where it's leaking, that uh, I need to get out and find a new place to live. Because she don't have money to fix the roof and she's not going to fix the roof. Now, that's what she told me. If I don't put buckets upstairs, then I need to get out because she can't afford to fix the roof. And she's not going to fix the roof. Now, I said, Your Honor, this is uh, a couple years ago, a couple pipes broke upstairs. You know, one broke in the kitchen and did a lot of damage downstairs. I mean, it made the whole roof ceiling cave in and everything. And she's trying to make me pay for that. And he goes, is that true that, you know, pipes broke? And she says, yes, Your Honor. Three different occasions, three different pipes broke. And then, uh, when uh, he asked her about the roof leaking, he, he, he said, she, she repeated herself twice. She said, I asked her out nicely. I asked her out nicely because her mom was coaching her. I asked him nicely if he would put buckets up in the attic where the roof leaks so it wouldn't do damage, more damage downstairs. Once she said that, he looked at her like he wanted to take a poop. He's like, so he's not lying. He's not lying. Is 